What's going on? What's happening? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to another episode of All Pro Football 2K8. Now, if you're new here and you like what we do here, hit that like and subscribe. And let's go ahead and jump into today's episode. Now, when we did the scouting report on the Minneapolis Werewolves, we did notice one big thing. 65% to 35%. 65% of the time, they are running the ball. 35% of the time, they are passing the ball, which tells me everything that I need to know. And that is, if we cannot shut down the run, we will be in trouble because they are going to be doing a lot of running in this here game, all right? They got Leroy Kelly in the backfield, and he is looking to rack up some yards and rack up some yards really quickly. But let's go ahead and get things cracking. First down and 10. We will start this drive from the 24-yard line, and we are going to hand this one up the middle to our fullback. He's going to pick up three yards in the process, and that will move us up to the 28. Third down and six. We're looking, and we are are finding Cliff Branch and that was a weird run after catch because he was basically running after the defender I know I know it's weird but it's okay and on third down for some reason we opt to run the ball that was not what should have happened at all Minneapolis will get possession and they will start their first drive of the game with a complete pass and a first down as well. Now they're gonna come right back with a handoff and that is Leroy Kelly with a gain of nine on his first run of the day. And like I said, we are going to have to shut down that run because I don't want this to get out of control. We can't have the man averaging nine yards per carry. And look at this, on second down and one, he creeps over into Vancouver territory and goes down at the 32 after a big gain on the play. First down and 10, Roger Staubach is gonna get dropped back for a loss of five on the play. Great job by our defense right there. Second down and 15 from the 37 yard line now. And this pass is gonna be complete. And Lewis has his second catch of the game as it is now third down and three from the Vancouver 25 and it's Leroy Kelly again, but that is gonna be fourth and inches. Could not quite get that first down and it looks like they're going for it. We have to call a timeout very quickly. I don't trust that defense. We need time to think about it. We need time to reset and looks like they needed a little time as well because they are gonna set up for a field goal instead of going for it. And the kick is absolutely golden, 39 yards. And now the Minneapolis Werewolves have the lead, three to nothing, but that's manageable, all right? That, that's not bad at all. And here comes Walter Payton. Great run by him, gain of 10. We did not pick up the first down, however, so it will be second and in inches, but that is gonna bring us to the close of the first quarter. It is still close. Minneapolis is on top of Vancouver, three to nothing, but all of that can change on this drive right here, and Walter Payton is coming out furious. You understand what I'm saying? Five carries, 24 yards so far, and a first down to boot, and now we're gonna hand it off to him once again, because if it ain't broke, you don't fix it, all right? It's a very simple rule, and he will take that handoff up the middle. Third down and two now, and that was a bad run. That was a bad run by us. I can accept that. Loss on the play. We will give the ball back to Minneapolis. And Leroy Kelly is doing Leroy Kelly things right now, and he is basically leading this team to where they need to be. We got an injured man on the field, Angelo Fox. Does not look good, but we'll see what happens. Hopefully he's not injured too long. And Leroy Kelly is going off. From the 35, 
all the way down to the three yard line. The man has 105 yards so far in this game. And that one just went for 60 plus. Wow. Eugene Robinson was the only man around and was the only one that managed to bring him down at the three yard line. First down and goal now. And I don't like this at all. Not one bit and Leroy Kelly punches it in. Minneapolis is up 10 to nothing now. But it's all good. It is all good. We can get back in this game. But we got to change up something on defense. And we got to change up something on offense. Easier said than done. But let's see how this goes, man. Pass is complete to Walter Payton. Gain of six on the play. It is third down and four. And a big third down at that. And no. No, we will get nothing and like it. Apparently, that pass falls incomplete. We will give the ball back to the Werewolves. And it's Leroy Kelly once again. Gain of seven. And it's just getting worse by the second. That's, that's all I can tell you. Second down and three. Leroy Kelly gets the handoff spin move. Broke a tackle or two and will finally go down at the 33-yard line. Good gain by him. Another first down. And the man is a first down machine. He's breaking more tackles, moving up into the secondary and picking up more first downs. 138 yards total so far in the game and we whiffed on that tackle wow that was absolutely terrible they are now at the 35 yard line and my man might pick up 200 yards before the end of the first half wow that is that is insane at this point but it is what it is catches made over the middle they will quickly call a timeout that is gonna be second down and three now. 31 seconds left to go in this first half. Roger Staubach is switching things up at the line. He will drop back and drop a dot right there on the right side of the field. Is this a great drive or what? And it, it looks like it is. It looks like it is a great drive. <laughs> Not great for us, but definitely great for the Werewolves. Roger Staubach dropping back. And that's Rick Upchurch with his first catch of the game. Second down and five now from the 18 yard line. 22 seconds left to go. Pass is caught. No one around. And that is what we call a touchdown for the Werewolves. Once again, Clinton Royal with the catch. We gotta take another look at it because it was beautiful, man. We whiff on the tackle. Royal runs it in with nobody, and I do mean nobody around. And the Werewolves will end the first half on top, 17 to nothing. This is not what we wanted, but the way that we've played in the last two games before this one, I feel like should have been a warning sign to get our stuff together, all right? We haven't been scoring touchdowns like that. We, we haven't been keeping the game out of reach for the other team as far as the defense goes. It just, I knew this was gonna happen, but there's still a second half, okay? If we can change things in the second half, we might not even have to worry about all that. But the way we played in those last two games, I'm not surprised, all right? That's all I'm gonna say. Look at his handoff to Leroy Kelly. That is 63 yards on this run, and he finally goes down at the three-yard line. That's what we don't need at all, and only we can change. So that's what we're gonna do, man, or that's what we're going to attempt to do. But if it does come down to the fact that we have to take a loss, I feel like we are gonna learn a lot from this game for sure. Rodgers, last ditch effort, trying to get the team fired up, passes it down the middle. Pass was good, but the time ran out. We were not able to get any points on the board. 
and here we go. It is second half time. And let me just say this, man. This stadium is absolutely fire, okay? We haven't played here much on this All Pro channel, but I like this stadium a lot. This might be my favorite stadium of all the ones that they have on this game. Pass is complete. Rick Upchurch on the catch. That's going to be a first down. Gain of 12 on the play. And my man Stallback is throwing dots out here, all right? And he doesn't even have to. All right, he doesn't even have to because he's got Leroy Kelly in the backfield and he must have heard me because Leroy gets the handoff and we actually get a stop gain of six. I mean, he picked up some yards, but we actually got a stop, all right? And now when we finally get another one, there is a flag on the play. Not a good look for us at all. That is going to be neutral zone infraction. And that is going to be an automatic first down. We were controlling Scott Studwell on that play. So that's our fault right there. All right. It's all good. Hopefully we can bounce back, keep that defensive pressure on. And we do. Interception is made. And if I'm if I'm seeing things correctly, that looks like my man Scott Studwell. If you mess up, you might as well get an interception, all right? <laughs> you might as well come back and make a play, and that's exactly what he did. Scott Studwell forces the turnover, and it is go time now, people, all right? Handoff goes to Walter Payton. He is breaking tackles, and he is moving the ball down the field to the 46-yard line. Great run by him. He's got 51 total on the day, second down in 10, and Vancouver needs a touchdown, and that is not how we get one at all. Interception, and this might go back. Well, it'll go back at least to the 18-yard line. I thought he could get that edge on everybody. Whoa. My man Buddy Rogers is hot right now, all right? <laughs> Brad Allen, the man with two first names, comes up with the interception and will take it all the way down to the 18-yard line. Not a good look for us. Not a good look for us at all, but it's third down and 11 from the 20-yard line. Stallback switching things up at the line. Gonna get the pass off quick, but we will get the deflection, and that is gonna bring up fourth down. They are gonna set up for a field goal. And this kick might just do it and it, yeah, it will. They are now up by three scores, but we can change that, man, because if we get three touchdowns, we will be winning. Obviously, they have to come consecutively <laughs> for us to take the lead. And Rodgers got caught looking down the field get sacked and that is not how we get back in the game people that is not how we get back in the game at all and to make things worse delay of game penalty on the offense that is going to back us up five more yards and that is going to make it third down and super long and Rodgers gets hit as he throws but the pass is complete wow and we got to take another look at that play in particular. Cliff Branch is the one that came up with the catch. He was not the intended target. I believe that was Figueroa. But the ball bounces off of his hands and bounces back to Cliff Branch for a first down. That must be a sign. That's got to be a sign. We will roll out right and we will find Shannon Sharp on the pass. Now from the 36-yard line. Wow, we're going to find Shannon Sharp again with the one-handed catch, but that looked a little sketchy. Not going to lie to you. Third down and one. We cannot connect with Shannon Sharp again. That is going to bring up fourth down and one, and at this point, we have to go for it. We'll hand it off to our fullback, Dow, and he will pick up the first down 
first and 10 now from the 25 yard line. We are now in the fourth quarter and we are now once again moving backwards. Loss of nine on the play as Pete Reese gets the sack. This defense has been on us all day. All right, they've been on our heads. And look at that. Look at that. We could not get the pass off. Mecklenburg with the hit. And at this point, we got no answers, but we are still searching for the answers. Fourth down and 19. And we're going to pass this one. No. Nah. Looking to take a shot towards the end zone. Russell played good defense on that one. Gets the deflection. And now Stahlback going to step up in the pocket on first and 10. Complete that pass for a gain of seven yards. Third down and one now. And Leroy Kelly spin move. And he is gone. My man has turned on the Jets. And he gets into the end zone for a touchdown. That is going to do it, y'all. I don't know. I don't know, man. I have never seen us look this weak. We are weak as water right now. All right? It's bad. We'll end up losing this game 34-7 to to the Minneapolis Werewolves. We got our boots smoked. We got our block knocked off. We got smoked. All right? 253 passing yards for us. 259 rushing yards for them. It makes a huge difference. 342 total for them. 315 total for us. And by looking at those numbers, you might think that the game was close. No. Not at all. Think again because these guys really came out here and did some work. Shout out to that whole offensive line, man, because they pushed our defensive line around like they were kids, all right? Like they weren't even grown men. It was it was ugly, y'all. It was, it was extremely ugly. But all we can do is try to be better for the next game. I knew eventually we would lose. I'm pretty sure we were not going undefeated, even though that would have been cool. You know, that would have been really cool. It's, it's not possible, all right? Look at this play again, though. Rodgers hit as he throws. The ball bounces off of Figueroa's hands in the Cliffs branch hands for a first down. That was absolutely amazing. Man, unfortunately, I don't have all of the full stats to put at the end of this video like I normally do because, I mean, the video just stopped recording. I don't, <laughs> I don't know what to tell y'all, but I do know that my man Leroy Kelly had 264 yards off of 20 carries with three touchdowns to match. All right. Impressive. Highly, highly impressive. We were not expecting that, but it is all good. If we have to see them in the playoffs, we know what to expect now. But who's to say we even make the playoffs if this is the way we're going to be giving up yards? Anyway, man, I appreciate y'all stopping with me and rocking with me. This series is going great so far. So I appreciate each and every one of y'all for tuning in every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. I've been me. You been you. And until the next time we speak, <laughs> I'm out. <laughs>